What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you a free way to find out information in relation to parking lot striping paint. Uh, when you're first getting started, it can be a little bit intimidating because you're confused about what types of paints work with different surfaces, whether it's oil-based, latex, solvent. A lot of it can be confusing and overwhelming at first, and if you don't know where to go and you don't have the information, then you're going to feel really discouraged. Uh, you're going to feel like you might not be able to accomplish it. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you a free way to gather all that information. Uh, that way you can be knowledgeable as it pertains to parking lot striping paint and how to find out information for free. All right. I'm fixing to walk into my local Sherwin Williams store uh, and show you how easy it is to get this information. Then we'll go over it together later on in the video. All right. What are you up to? Doing all right. How are you doing? Good. Okay. I uh, I wanted. I called earlier about kind of getting some papers. I'm trying to uh, get some of those that information data that kind of comes with paint. Oh, like the product data. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, can well, I do that? Thank you, sir. You You're welcome. welcome. Yeah. Have a good day. I got the material sheets. I'm fixing to go to the desk and then we'll go over it and I'll show you how easy it is to get all this information. All right. All right, I'm back. That's how easy it is to find out the product information in relation to parking lot striping traffic paint. In this video, we're just gonna go over hotline fast dry latex. We're gonna go over the product information, okay? But I didn't just get one kind. I got set fast acrylic solvent borne traffic paint. Uh, I got uh, tile clad catalyzed epoxy. I got hotline fast dry latex. I got set fast chlorinated rubber zone marking paint. I got armor seal heavy duty floor coatings. Uh, I got Promar acrylic solvent based traffic marking paint you get the idea right here in front of you is a free resource for you to acquire knowledge that is attainable this is a free resource i just walked in there and grabbed it uh and it tells you the product description recommended uses uh how fast, how long it takes to dry. We're going to go over all that today. Okay. Now you see to the left, it gives you a product description. Okay. Hotline latex traffic paints are very fast drying paints for use in marking parking lots, airports, and roads. Okay. Later on, it talks about ways to make application, the humidity, so on and so forth. You get the idea. But let's go over here to the recommended uses for marking airfields, highways, or parking lots when faster drying times are needed and water-based or low VOC coatings are required. These products are less affected by relative humidity than most latex paints and are ideal for striping when very fast dry times are required. At the beginning of last month, we did a project for a commercial property uh, maintenance company. We restriped their fire lane for them. And they were in a very, very big hurry for me to get the job done. But it was too cold in the morning. And it was too cold in the evening because in the spring. So the temperature doesn't start rising until about 10 o'clock. And then about 8 o'clock it drops off. Well, I was in a, a short window of when I could do it. So I chose to use this hotline fast dry latex because I knew that it would dry fast. Uh, and right here in the recommended uses, it tells you striping contractors, shopping centers, plant maintenance, streets and highways, municipalities, parking lots, state DOTs, Department of Transportation. But right here... After the recommended uses, it gives you the performance characteristics, okay? 
the viscosity, bleed resistance, the color, dry no pickup, all that stuff. Okay. It gives you all the information you need to learn how to use this. Look right here to the left of the screen. Recommended spreading rate per coat. In the last video that I did telling you how I stripe uh, and how I charge for parking lot striping jobs, I gave you information of how I do it. Okay, I don't know how other people do it. I'm just telling you how I do it. But right here, you can use the information that I'm giving you today in comparison with that video as it pertains to charging and how to charge this right here in this free information gives you a product review you see right here in this information it says approximately 320 lineal feet of standard four inch stripe per gallon it gives you the mills the dry mills the coverage all that information okay you see all that right there Okay, that's how whenever you go and you start bidding your parking lot striping jobs, you'll know how much paint you need to get and you won't have to keep running back to Sherwin Williams uh, because you didn't understand in the beginning when and how much paint to get. Right here, look down here, okay? Brush or roll application is not recommended, but right here, if the asphalt is insufficiently cured, applying a thin coat, approximately half the recommended uh, DFT, generally reduces the extent of lifting and cracking. Just making sure the application of the paint is done appropriately, okay? Right here, it also gives you the shelf life, right? 12 months unopened. Okay, store indoors at 40 degrees minimum to 100 degrees Fahrenheit maximum. So it gives you the shelf life. I mean, look at all this information, guys. This is free. Just go to your local Sherwin-Williams, ask for this information, and you can get it for free, and you can start learning about this paint. This is a free resource. Let's go to the next page. So it gives you right here, it gives you the... Uh, application conditions right so the temperature the minimum application condi conditions the minimum application conditions the temperature is at 50 degrees minimum that means you can't stripe it's not recommended to stripe under 50 degrees minimum with this type of traffic paint up to 110 degrees fahrenheit maximum okay and it talks about the dew point, at least five degrees, and then 2.8 degrees Celsius above dew point. But the relative humidity at 85% maximum, right? This is for appropriate product application. It's it, this is it. Sherwin Williams is telling you how to apply their paint right now. As we keep going, it gives you a, a safety precautions, a disclaimer, a warranty information. Uh, it gives you all this information the drying schedule look 10 minutes it dries in 10 minutes okay look at this right here okay surface preparation must be completed as indicated mixing instructions mix paint thoroughly to a uniform consistency with low speed power agitation prior to use. Apply paint at the recommended film thickness and spreading rate as indicated below. You see all this. Look at all this. And it tells you the performance tips. Okay. Spread rates are calculated on volume solids and do not include an application loss factor due to the surface profile. Roughness or application various surface irregularities material lost during mixing spillage over thinning climatic conditions and excessive firm building okay i told you the other day i was having this ghost like film after i would stripe the line there would be this this light residue the reason why there was that light residue is because i over thinned it now i didn't do that intentionally but i did it to try to manually get that filter to engage but right here asphalt services generally require aging prior to painting this tells you all the information that you need guys look at this do not paint on wet wet surfaces do not paint on wet surfaces do not paint when the relative humidity is above 85 percent 
do not paint when the temperature is below 50 degrees. Cool, damp conditions will prolong drying time. Refer to product information sheet for additional performance characteristics. Then even giving gives you cleanup instructions, right? This is how easy it is for you to get this information available to you for free. Sherwin Williams teaches you how to use their paint. So if you were confused or you're struggling, you didn't know where to start, start with your local Sherwin Williams. Go in there like I did and get this information. Start studying this information. Because if you're going to be effective in trying to start, scale, and run your business, you're going to have to learn how to use this paint. These are free resources for you to be able to be successful. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.